Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about a super controversial new feature that Windows 11 is getting ready to roll out later this year. It's called Windows 11 Recall and it pretty much spies on you. It's going to take a picture of your screen every three seconds or so and it's going to keep that for months on end. Stick around guys, it's going to be a very interesting one. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready for this? I don't think you are. I don't think I'm ready for this, but we're going to talk about it anyway. This is Windows 11 Recall, and it is Big Brother brought to a whole new level. <laughs> Quite frankly, it's scary. Um, let's let's just dive right in. We're going to talk about what it is. We're going to talk about when it's coming out. We're going to talk about um, how creepy it is. We're going to talk about how cool it is. And then we're going to talk about also, you know, the security aspect behind it and the system requirements, all that good stuff. All right, so let's get started here. Microsoft has announced a new AI-powered feature for Windows 11 called Recall, which records everything you do on your PC and lets you search through your historical activities. Recall works like a photographic memory for your PC, letting you access everything you've seen or done on your computer in an organized way using queries in your native language. That is kind of creepy. Let that sink in. It's going to take a screenshot of your computer every three seconds or so, and it's going to store these on your local computer, at least for now. Hopefully they don't change that and Microsoft starts sending everything into their cloud. Who knows? I'm sure they would love that from a big data standpoint and maybe even a training of large language model standpoint. Anyways, think about the uh, functionality kind of similar to like ChatGPT or any multimodal LLM where you can upload an image and it can give you information about that image. This, I got a super high level is going to do the same thing, but on a lot of steroids. <laughs> okay. So with recall, you can scroll through your timeline to find content from any app website or document that you have opened. The feature utilizes snapshots to suggest actions based on what it recognizes, making it easy to return to that specific email and outlook or the right chat and teams. Uh, yeah, along with everything else that you've ever done on your computer. Nice. All right, so system requirements to use Recall. Obviously, you're going to have to be running Windows 11. And talking about timeline, this is supposed to come out when 24H2 goes mainstream. So we're probably talking about like September, October of 2024 this year. So that's the first requirement. You'll have to be on 24H2. Uh, you'll need a Copilot Plus PC that supports... 40 TOPs MPU. What the heck is that? Okay, so an MPU is a neural processing unit. Similar to a CPU or GPU, it's another processing unit, obviously geared towards artificial intelligence, hence the neural uh, part of the acronym there. And 40 TOPs. What is 40 TOPs? Okay, so these MPUs are incredible. 40 TOP stands for 40 trillion operations per second. Think about that for a second, guys. That's a lot of operations per second, 40 trillion. If you hear some background noise, I apologize. I am feeding and burping my baby daughter right now, my little four-month-old. All right, so you'll also need a Snapdragon X chip, a minimum of 16 gigs of RAM, and a minimum of a 256 gigabyte hard drive. Obviously, if you have more storage, you're going to be able to store more things, and we're going to talk about that right here. So recall works by taking screenshots of your active window every few seconds, building snapshots of what you do over time. Microsoft says the feature will require at least 256 gigabyte hard drive with 50 gigabytes of space. I'm sorry, of space available to store approximately three months of snapshots. But obviously you can increase that if you have more storage. And nowadays, guys, most of us are dealing with terabytes. So you're probably going to be able to store years and years of historical activity and go back in time and visit all that fun stuff you did. Hopefully you're the only one that will be able to do that. Okay, so the recall snapshots are analyzed by the MPU, the neural processing unit on Copilot Plus PCs, and an AI model to extract information from screenshots that is then added to a new Windows semantic index. Micro Microsoft says all of this data is encrypted with BitLocker encryption tied to the user's account and is not shared with other users on the same device. Well, that's a good thing. Hopefully that's true. The semantic index allows users to search for information using human language queries and pull up snapshots related to the query. In these snapshots, information such as URLs, text, and images 
can be interacted with, making it easier to find your find and use historical information. I mean, I got to admit, it sounds really cool, right? Like, not only is it going to show you the snapshot, but you can actually look, I mean, interact with the URLs, images, and text. So it's not just a picture. It's actually going to be like an intelligent uh, recollection of the past, I guess you could say. Um, also very scary, though, at the same time. All right. Let me know what you guys think so far. Uh, Microsoft says the feature will roll out in June with support for only some languages, which will be English, Chinese, French, German, Japanese, and Spanish. More languages will be added in the future. June, that's interesting. Everything I was reading looked like it was probably going to be more towards September or October. But all right. Maybe they're talking dev and canary channels there. You can control what information and apps recall can capture. And Microsoft says AI works at the hardware level and keeps all the data stored locally, never shared with the cloud or Microsoft. That's my biggest fear as of right now, guys. This may start locally, but think about how valuable some of this data would be for Microsoft, right? From a big data standpoint, you know, advertising, things like that, targeting. And then also from a AI training, like training an LLM with, I don't know how many screenshots you would have across their user base. I can only imagine it would be trillions of screenshots, right? Just one year's worth of data across their user base. The large language model would basically be able to see user behavior on a computer day in and day out across millions, if not billions of customers of Microsoft. So that's pretty crazy to think about. Uh, that's a big incentive for Microsoft to not leave that data locally on your computer, but that's probably where it'll start local encrypted, all that great stuff. And then, you know, I can see this in the future and call me a conspiracy theorist, but this is Microsoft after all, I can see this in the future. Hey, to enable all these great new features, we're now going to securely send your uh, artificial intelligence captured snapshots to the cloud for processing of blah, blah, blah features. I don't know. Maybe it won't come, but uh, I wouldn't put it past them. All right. Moving on. Recall leverages your personal semantic index built and stored entirely on your device. Reads a new announcement from Microsoft's Yusuf MIDI. Your snapshots are yours. They stay locally on your PC for now. You can delete individual snapshots, adjust your delete ranges of time and settings, or pause it at any point in time from the icon on the system tray on your taskbar. So that's cool. At least you can shut it off when you want to. You can also filter apps and websites from ever being saved. So I guess you can exclude things if you want, websites and different apps. You are always in control. <laughs> Thanks, Microsoft. That makes me feel so warm and fuzzy. You are always in control with privacy you can trust. Did they seriously just drop that line? This is Microsoft, guys. All right. Well, Microsoft states that no data will be sent to their servers, one concern immediately comes to mind with this feature. How this recorded data will be locally secured on the Windows devices. Exactly. If a threat actor gains local access to a device, they would be able to access their data. I'm sorry. They would be able to access this data or send it to their own computers to analyze the information offline for sensitive data. And you know, if they're taking screenshots every three seconds, there's going to be a, a, a don't say it. There's going to be a crap ton of sensitive data. Let's just be honest. Furthermore, Microsoft admits that this feature performs no content moderation, meaning it will screenshot everything it sees in active windows including credentials, banking information, and other confidential information. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Microsoft. But remember, they dropped that line. You are always in control with privacy. You can trust. Right. All right, moving on, guys. Oh, conveniently, only Microsoft edges in private windows and content protected by DRM will be excluded from recall by default. Hmm, are they trying to steer you into using Edge maybe? Yeah, I think so. All right, Bleeping Computer contacted Microsoft about whether other browsers' private browsing features would be excluded and whether the recall data would be secured if a device is breached. We will update our story if we receive a response. Yeah, they probably won't receive a response. So what do you guys think about this? Um, this is an article from Bleeping Computer. There's also another one I'm going to link. I'm going to give you three links, maybe four. Uh, the Bleeping Computer article, there's another one from Tech Radar, there's another one from Windows Latest, where they just go over all of this information. 
I, for one, think this is frightening. At the same time, I think it's awesome and incredible. I am obviously a techie and a nerd. I'm in IT for profession and hobby. Um, I love technology. It's moving faster than I ever would have thought, though, in the last year or two. And this, not only from a techno technological standpoint, but from a big brother standpoint, this is just straight up something out of a movie. This is scary, right? But again, <laughs> it's going to make our lives easier if we do adopt it. Uh, so I don't know. I'll probably definitely try this out when the time comes. I'm not saying I'm going to leave it on, but just as a nerd and a tech enthusiast, I have to at least see this in action and try it out myself. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to shut this off? And by the way, speaking of shutting this off, when this comes out, I just admitted I'm going to try it out because I'm that guy. <laughs> and uh, I'll also make a video when the time comes showing you guys how you can disable this, how you can make sure it's not recording you. I'm going to show you how you can modify different settings to exclude things, how you can pause it. We'll do a more in-depth technical review when that time comes. But for now, uh, it's not out yet. But when it comes out, what are you guys going to do? Are you going to try to not upgrade to 24H2? Are you going to stay away from the MPUs uh, that are needed to turn this on? Let me know. Are you going to jump ship? I know a lot of people, I've been making a few Microsoft uh, Windows 11 24H2 videos lately, and they're like, dude, I'm going to Linux. I'm going to ride Windows 10 until it dies, and then I'm going to Linux. <laughs> like, get out of here, Microsoft. I don't know. Bill Gates, uh, yeah, I know you got a lot of money, but now you are a professional spy as well. So congratulations. I'm kind of half kidding there, right? Because this is a Microsoft product. So, Bill, you're the face of that. But, yeah, this supposedly is going to start locally. But, again, I don't know. There's a lot of incentive to think about from a, you know, billion trillion dollar company whatever it is now uh to ingest all this data i mean this is basically showing you the entire user behavior for probably years on end for millions if not billions of users so i don't know what do you guys think about this again let me know if you're going to use it i'd be very curious to see the thoughts of the uh the community on this one i haven't you know i think this is a pretty huge announcement as far as a operating system feature it's been a lot of stuff that came out lately with AI and Copilot and GPT, but this one is probably one of the biggest announcements I've heard from a uh, strictly an OS standpoint. All right, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you don't want to miss the video, the follow-up video to this once it comes out and I'm using it. I'm going to show you guys how it works. I'm going to you know, show you guys how to protect yourself if that is a concern of yours. And uh, yeah, you don't want to miss any future content, so please subscribe. If you're not aware, if you weren't aware of this, maybe your friends weren't aware of this, please share the video. Uh, that helps that helps me out a lot, obviously, with the channel. I do have a lofty goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I definitely need your help getting there, guys. Sub up, share the word. And one more thing, guys, drop me a comment to let me know what your thoughts are. I'm thinking this is going to be a fun chat in the comment sections because there's definitely going to be people on both sides of the spectrum here. All right, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Until the next video. Time to feed the baby. <laughs> Until the next video, take care, guys. Bye.